Hello everyone, this is Jason with the YouTube channel Jason Explains Things. Today we're at the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest for an adventure in products for adventure. Let's go. <laughs> Prepare thyself. You're about to witness some awesome vehicles, see my buddy and I push our 4x4s to the literal edge on a technical off-road course, and meet tons of incredible people. But stay tuned to the end to find out what really makes trips like this one so special. Like any true adventure, we need to start at the beginning. We begin our story at Mary Hill Stonehenge, perched above the Columbia River on the border of Washington and Oregon. Built in 1918, this accurate recreation of the ancient Stonehenge is America's first World War I memorial. If you follow my channel, you'll recognize my Toyota 4Runner, my friend Chris's Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison, but you likely haven't seen this ZR2 before. Shortly before reaching Stonehenge, while fueling up, we met up with Mario, who's been a longtime subscriber and follower on Instagram. Hi, what's your Mario, name? Mario. Mario, and uh, you're on Instagram, right? Yes, MQuest509. Oh, oh, you, okay, yeah. yeah he's the one that We've shouted each other. Yeah. yeah, okay, awesome. Well, I love your Colorado. Thank you. Yeah, I, I considered these uh, AEV Crestone wheels with the protection ring, and they, uh, yeah, you, you use them. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, very nice. So CBI front bumper, CBI rear bumper, the same snorkel we did. Very cool. The 400 does not get the world's best gas mileage and I just changed the oil on the old girl. So I'm going to be adding some Tecron as I fill up for my trip down to Oregon. Bye money, bye. <laughs> what do you guys think of Stonehenge? Uh, it's cool, it's very cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty awesome. It is. I've lived here my entire life and have driven past it many times, <laughs> first time. Well, where do we want to kind of, we want to get down close to the event, but probably everything right next to it is going to be completely taken out. I imagine out. it's going to be a little packed down there, so. Yeah. Checking on Onyx, which is not a sponsor, but you know, call me. Oh. <laughs> it looks like Ma 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 Madras? Madras. Madras uh, might have some camping nearby, and that's really close to the final event, so I think we'll go there. Start there and see what happens. Yeah! <laughs> Adventure. Adventure is out there! We caravaned 110 miles through scenic farmland and rolling hills to our beautiful, but a little buggy, campsite. Well, we uh, all just uh, woke up and packed up our campsite. Uh, we've been roughing it really hard out here. Beautiful spot, too many bugs. Well, now we're gonna do a really, really fancy overland uh, cook cooking uh, breakfast um, uh, demo for you. At a local cafe? Yep. So, scouring the news this morning, we're very excited to see this at the gates. Uh, new AEV uh, Sierra AT4X. You're gonna get two of them? Am I gonna get two of them? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yummy, yummy. Aww. You're gonna ruin him. I'm gonna eat his face. <laughs> No time to waste, so we hit the road. The last few miles flew by as Marley and I practiced for our Queen tribute band. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Destination reached. Ah, oh, look at that. Life goals right there. Time to set up camp, get checked in, and get to work. This expo is huge, tons to see and do. To make this more fun for you guys and not feel like just a series of ads, I'm going to break things up. First, let's check in with our friends at AEV and CBI. Then Chris and I tackle that awesome off-road course they have set up here. Then you're gonna see a bunch of other cool vehicles and gear along with introducing you to some awesome people we met, some you might recognize. Okay, this one is more Chris's wheelhouse, so. <laughs> Go for it, man. I mean, it's a little bigger than my style, but it's very cool nonetheless. This is the new GMC AT4X Sierra, but it is the AEV edition. So just like my truck, you have all the steel bumpers, you have the winch capability, you have nice big recovery hooks, all the underbody protection, special wheels, special embroidery, the works. I'm sure it's a bedillion dollars, but it looks very cool. And we're here with Nate again. You guys have well, seen him guys. on the channel. Glad to see you. Yeah. Today we're going to be looking at your your two trucks here. They look amazing. You got a bunch of recovery gear there. 
And we've been in talks with you guys. I think we're gonna showcase some of your gear on the channel and maybe how to use it, go over some things. So I'm re really looking forward to that, get it on the books. But let's look at these guys, this is sick. Yeah, so this is our, actually a red JL370. This is a 2021 model. And it showcases our EX front bumper with their 7000 series lights. And then rear bumper package on the rear. This is actually my current work truck. Unfortunately, you guys love the little red bison, but they uh, <laughs> they took it away and gave me this Jeep Wrangler that I have to drive around and talk to you guys. I mean, about I think that. that's all right. I mean, as work trucks go, you could do worse. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty big show for us. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw the unveiling of the GMC AT4X yes. AV edition. Uh, I'm impressed. That was been something that I guess we've been in the works for like two years, and I couldn't even talk about it. I, I didn't even see pictures of it. This is the first <laughs> time I got to see it in person. The interesting story about this: this is actually the rear diff slider on the back of the Chevy Colorado. This is what is that? Is that that's exactly it? Okay, okay yeah. Nice. This is actually was a, a skid plate that was on Chad Hall racing truck. Um, oh, nice! Yeah. yeah. So he dug it, uh, drug this thing across the desert. So this, all these scratches and scrapes, is is what like, shows like, how well it holds up over time. Hey, listen, you do whatever you want. I'm just holding the camera. Yeah. You're, you're recording. Okay. We're all this awesome. is all live. Buddy. Oh, great. Yep. We're gonna have all this in there uh -huh. too, right? Okay. <laughs> everyone is everyone is sassing me all around me. Get a shot of this guy. What? What? Not why me? <laughs> oh, you're on now. <laughs> well, we are at the. Uh, CBI slash Prinsu booth. Uh, if you've been watching my channel lately, you've seen a lot of their products from the uh, RAV4 uh, Prinsu roof rack to this, which I just published. By the way, if you're gonna be ramming into any deer, I gotta say this will save your vehicle. It won't save this part of your vehicle, but it'll save the important part. So for my Tacoma, we're gonna be doing another CBI bumper in the future at some point, but maybe a full bumper in case uh, Bambi wants to jump in front of me again. We already killed Bambi. I know, but another Bambi. So I don't know if you guys follow Max Pal, you, you definitely should. Uh, he recently broke his uh, bumper cover as well, so that's why this is on there now, which is awesome. I'm probably gonna do something very similar for my Tacoma. Um, for the Forerunner, uh, let me guys let guys let me know what you think, but I think uh, my wife has been saying she wants a, uh, a ladder, and this ladder is really beefy, uh, really easy to install, so they say you only have to drill two small holes uh, right here and here. And I asked yesterday, and they said this was okay. So it, it does support me. <laughs> Confirm for at least one Jason. Yep. <laughs> Good stuff. Lunch complete. We did it. Hair. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go try out their little over, over, overland off-road course. We're gonna do that and see what we see. And then it's gonna be an afternoon of walking in the sun, Jason. Do you think you can handle it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hydrate. I'm gonna try not to nearly pass out like I did an hour ago, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. And I'm supposed to tell him to drink water. That's what mom said. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> the Overland Driving Course is custom made to teach off-road skills. It had a variety of paths, some easy and some hard. Lucky for us, our rigs qualified us for the harder paths. The best part about it was the awesome instructors we met that gave us both tons of new info. Time to test our skills. Nice! Woohoo! <laughs> You're gonna have so much fun! I can't wait! Hi, Mom. Say hello! Hey, here, I'll give you this. You might be on there if you're okay with that, but yeah, cool. it's my buddies. That's Jason back there. So hi, Jason. <laughs> We're gonna be using a lot of left brake. Okay. 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 Uh, left brake. What left brake does? It helps you control the speed. Uh huh. Uh, let's call it left braking or brake throttle modulation. Sure. Yep. Does that make you great? A little bit. It's my first time having that tent on there too, so that makes me nervous. But what I want you to do? Yeah. Is I want you to sit in your seat like you're driving down the street. Okay. And what happens when you lean? You take the urgency away. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. Whoa. Slow down. There's a rock there. Slow, slow, slow. Slow? Okay. Yep. That way we're going to hit the side tilt. Okay. Really good. Whoa, that's sweet. Chris, the flex is awesome. Oh, we're chipping, we're chipping. Whoa. Straight. Okay. Slow, yeah. Straight and slow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing a great job. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, left foot breaking. Left foot's just used to just hanging out over here. <laughs> you know what I, what I do? I do it all the time. Yeah, I, no, I, I'm not. I, I started like 25 years or more ago. And it, gives you, it gives you a lot of finesse. 
Yeah. There you go, rocks. Good, good, rocks. That's A track. A track, yeah. Yeah, do that one? Okay, yeah. There it goes, yep. <laughs> that's that's a good good noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we're gonna take a straight down to get as far high as we can. Okay. Hey Marley, go that way. We're going up this big big thing. It'll be fine. Oh gosh! Turn to my side. Turn that way. All right. Harder, harder, harder. Oh, this is awesome. Harder, harder, harder. harder. All right. Use that brick a little bit more as you're coming down. Okay. And you'll, you'll slow down that bounce. Okay. When you've got really sharp rocks like this, put your tread on the rocks. Don't okay. don't try to squeeze by them. Yeah, hey, uh, Chris, there's some rocks up there, just so you know. Oh, thanks, buddy. What over these like huge boulders? Yeah. Yep. And yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. No, we're gonna start coming down exactly now. Okay. So break, break, break. Great, 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 great. We got clipped a little bit, but That's nothing all right. dramatic. <laughs> We're good, man. Awesome. Oh, nice. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, my gosh. Frank camera is going to help us a little bit here. Doing this as a hobby for the past like, you know, like two years or so, and doing all this stuff to this Forerunner, and then now like seeing like the slider did this, and the suspension did that, and the front camera did that, like it just it turned it into like such a cool thing. I, I have no words. I just have no words. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. You're smart. How's everybody doing? QR code. I have scanned the QR code. <laughs> this is where I think I'm gonna go next for a camper. Uh, I appreciate the borrowing of yours for the summer. No, no worries, man. Um, but yeah, I think this is the way we're gonna go. A little bit more slim line. Um, really good build quality. Made in Montana, which is super rad. Love that. All locally sourced. It's very, very cool. They mill it. They do all of it there. But yeah, man, climb up top. Whatever you yeah. want to see, whatever questions you have. The fabric here comes in raw. We thermal weld. Uh, so we make all this in-house, everything. Oh. Now, nothing is guaranteed, but we might make a trip to Montana to pick up a rooftop tent from Go Fast Campers. They even hinted at offering a shop tour. If you want to see that happen, let us and GFC know. All right, so we are here. We found somebody in the community. She goes by Max, Miss Max Ratto on Instagram. Uh, we've been tagging, so if, if, if you drove a canyon or a Colorado here and you found something under your wiper blade, that was most likely her, maybe me. She heads up a Facebook page for Pacific Northwest Colorado and Canyons. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun meeting a lot of the community this weekend. Very, very cool. And the information will be here. Hey! hey. Look yeah. here! Don't miss it. It's going away soon. <laughs> it's gone now. This How looks, fortuitous. This looks uh, this looks pretty cool. I think we should probably do something like this with the bison too. You might have already bought everything. We're going to do that real soon because we already have all of that, yeah. <laughs> Huge part of this trip was meeting other creators in person. Marley and I are here witnessing a YouTube video get made that's going to get a whole lot more views than this one you're watching. When I ran into Nate from Dirt Lifestyle and Andre from TFL, I wanted to focus on chatting and not filming. But there, here's some photos. That feeling you get when you meet somebody you watch all the time and you call him his boss's name. <laughs> Don't be too ashamed of me, okay? I'm ashamed of you. Oh. If a trip like this is on your bucket list, you have to camp out. Our neighbors were amazing people with amazing vehicles of all types. And no beautiful summer night is complete without some football. <laughs> Chris
Just that was a whole heck of a lot we just saw and did and met people at that expo. Holy crap. It was indeed. It was uh, <laughs> it was a long, busy weekend, but it was a lot of fun. We got yep. to meet a lot of really cool people, got to see a lot of really cool things, do some f fun stuff too. So yeah, it was great. Got to scratch my uh, one of the wheels on the floor. You runner. sure did. You a did a great job. Amy will love that. Yep. <laughs> yep. What was the favorite thing you saw? Uh, man, I was mostly the people for me. Uh, yeah. It was just meeting a lot of people that I have talked to a lot and never met in person. So yeah. that was that was a lot of fun. That was by far my favorite part of the trip. So I'm gonna copy him ha. because, frankly, um, hanging out with Chris for, uh, on a trip like this, like for three days straight, was awesome. My daughter Marley, my oldest, is holding a camera and helping me make this video, which just like warms my heart so much. And uh, it's just. People, it's all about people. Trucks are cool, adventure's cool, camping is cool, all of it, everything we saw is awesome, but meeting folks in person and getting to hang out with some of my favorite people on Earth for a long period of time in a row is the best part. Pretty rad. <laughs> oh. Until next time, everyone, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>